That was intense. Those Germans just didn't want to give up on those positions. Yeah, we lost so many men. Every time we got close to a position, more troops came. Don't forget that artillery. But we put the hurting on those Germans. But we lost the lieutenant. Yeah, I can't believe he's dead. Probably because he was a real softy. Well, we got a new leader now. Remember that sergeant? I think his name was Landsat. Let's just hope he's not the same. I doubt it. He took out that mortar position like a real pro. Hope he has time to get what's his name out of that tank. What's his name, Connor? He just would not get out of that tank. I'm looking for C Company. Over there on that time, sir. Thank you. Ten foot. All right, rest. I am Lieutenant Landstad, your new squad leader. I realize that this is unexpected and sudden to many of you, myself included. But this is war. Men die, and the ones that don't have their orders to accomplish. I can't promise you'll survive, but I don't expect each and every one of you to do your duties to the best of your ability. Now, Jerry is boxed in pretty good. We got them head towards El Alamein. That's our next destination. If we can win here, we can push them off this stinking desert for good. I never was one of those kinds of these things, talking to troops, trying to cheer them up. So I'll just leave it at this. Do your country proud, soldiers. Then, hut! Fall out. Uh, Lieutenant Lanzett, sir? We've got a bit of a situation. Uh, one of our soldiers is uh, gone. Uh, well, missing, actually. Uh, sort of. Sort of? All right, spill it, soldier. We don't have all day. Private Connor, sir. Uh, he's over there in that tank outside, uh, hiding out. Thanks, soldier. enemy here. Why don't we keep it that way by opening up? You said open up. I didn't hear anything about coming out. You weren't at the briefing? Is something wrong? Why don't you come down here? No, thank you, sir. I'm fine up here. Someone has to look after the tank. It's my duty. Come on now. You, you can't be in there all the time. It's stupid to be alone, especially in the battlefield. I know, sir. I just need some alone time. The other soldiers told me about you. Said you tend to freeze up and stay in there when it's time to pull out. Lucky you had someone in there with you or you and I wouldn't be talking right now. Sorry to break it to you, but we won't be taking this tank. We're short on ground troops. And there's plenty of other tank drivers. No. I need it here. Someone has to look after this vehicle. Don't worry about that. Another pilot has been assigned. But, sir, I... I can't go with you. I'm done out there. You're not making my job any easier. And being the new squad leader, trouble enough. Don't make me have to worry about you being scared. Who said anything about being scared? Look, we're all feeling the same. So let's not beat around the bush. Put yourself in my shoes, soldier. If someone dies in my command, that loss will be on my shoulders. But afraid or not, someone has to do it. I told you, I'm not afraid. I'm just better shot in here. All right, fine. Look at it this way. You won't be safe just holed up in that tank all the time. The truth is, this is war. There's no such thing as a safe zone. Heck, we could get ambushed right now. All right, Private. If you want, I'll send in a request so you can stay as the tank pilot. Thank you, sir. No problem, soldier. All units, prepare to move out. 